Okay, so this is the second video. Um, part of your homework tonight is to finish number four, which is just like number three, very similar to number three that we did in the previous video. So you'll do number four on your own. I'm going to go over number five with you, and then your homework will be to do number six. So your homework will be number four and number six, but we're going to do number five together. Okay, so this is a problem about an amusement park, and they're selling different kinds of tickets. There's an all-day pass that you can get, and that costs $50 for an all-day pass. Or another kind of ticket you can get is a pass after 5 p.m., and that's cheaper. It only costs $20. Um, on a particular Wednesday, they sold $15,000 in passes, and they're giving us this equation. So X is the number of all-day passes, and Y is the number of passes after 5 p.m. Um, first task is to find the x-intercept. Um, in order to find the x-intercept, we plug a 0 in for y. And you've, you've done this before, so this is a little bit of a review for you. Plug a 0 in for y. Okay, so in our equation, we have 15,000 equals... 50x plus 20 times 0, because we're putting a 0 in for y. All right, well, when you multiply 20 times 0, you just get 0, so I don't need to write anything there. And then in order to figure out what x is, we have to divide by 50. So when we do... 15,000 divided by 50, x will equal 300. So our x-intercept is 300, comma, 0. And this asks, what does that represent in words? Okay, well, when I have 300 x's all day passes, then I would have sold 0, y, which is passes after 5 p.m. So um, I could sell 300 all-day passes and 0 passes after 5 p.m. Okay, now we're going to find the y-intercept. So whenever we find the y-intercept, we plug 0 in for x. So in our equation, we have 15,000 equals 50 times 0, put a 0 in for x, plus 20y. When you multiply 50 times 0, that just goes away, and all you have left is 20y. And in order to get the y alone, you're going to have to divide by 20. So 15,000 divided by 20 is 750. So then our y-intercept would be 0, 750. And again, we're supposed to write in words what that means. So if I sold 0 x's, so 0 all-day passes, I would have sold 750 y's, which are the passes sold after 5 p.m. So I could sell zero all day passes and seven hundred and fifty after five PM passes. Okay. 
Okay, and then we're going to graph, and it says graph using a scale of 100 on the x and y axes. So that means go by 100s. So get those labeled. Same on the y-axis. Maybe I'll do one more to kind of help you. Okay, and it's helpful to label what your axes represent. Um, so I'm going to maybe see if I can move. No, I can't. Um, let's label our axes. So the x-axis is all day passes, if I had more room I would write it down here below the numbers. The y-axis is the passes after 5 p.m. Okay, so now we're going to graph, we're going to graph these two points. So the x-intercept was 300 comma 0. The y-intercept was 0, 750. So just get it between 700 and 800. And then I can just connect those two with a line. There's my graph. And then in part D, it says give a possible combination of number of all-day passes and passes after 5 p.m. that would satisfy the equation. That's the big thing, that it has to work in the equation. So what you can do is you can look on your line and try to pick out a good combination of all day passes and after 5 p.m. passes. And our line, like the way I drew it, is not that great. Maybe I should try to draw a better line. You know, like if you're doing this at home, maybe get a ruler out and draw a nice line. Um, I could maybe try doing this and see if I can get it. Okay, maybe something like that. Um, oh, it got moved over a little bit. Oops. Okay, hang on. I gotta draw a better line. Oh my goodness, my whole graph somehow accidentally got shifted. Um, I got to do it again, draw the eraser. Okay, so here's 300 and I'm going to try to draw my line nicely. Okay, so if I'm going to pick a point on my line, maybe I'll try this point right here. That looks like a relatively nice point. So that would be 100 all-day passes and 500 passes after 5 p.m. So that would be when x is 100 and when y is 500. But I have to make sure that it actually works in the equation. So let's just double check it. So 15,000 equals 50 times x, which I have is 100, plus 20 times y, which I have is 500. So let's type in, in our calculator, 50 times 100 plus 20 times 500. And when you type that in, you do get 15,000. So it does work in the equation. So then give a possible combination of all-day passes. So it would be 100 all-day passes 
and it would be 500 passes after 5 p.m. Okay, so if you pick a point on your line, double check it, plug it into your equation to make sure it actually works. Um, sometimes, like, I didn't draw this line very nicely. So this kind of looks like a point, 200, 300, but I bet if you plug it in, it's not going to work because I don't think it's actually on the line. Even though it looks like it, it's just because I drew my line not very nicely. Okay, so your homework then is to um, do problem number six because number six is a lot like what we just did. Um, you've got x-intercepts, y-intercepts in graphing, just like we did on this problem. And I also want you to finish number four, because that's a lot like number three that we've already done in the previous video. Okay, have a good day.